Hey guys, so I thought to do a, another tag. I have two tags actually that I want to do. I'm going to do one now and then one maybe later. So, um, please excuse if you hear this like humming. I have my fan on because it is so freaking hot here. I don't even know what's going on. But anyways, so um, the tag I'm going to do right now obviously is the best of 2011 so far. It was started by the book rat Misty, which seems to be the source of all good tags. So, giving credit where credit is due. So, um, yeah, let's just get right on into it. And most of the books I'm going to list are from the library, and so uh, I'm going to have to show you covers in an inlay or um, put the Goodreads thing to them in the bottom. I'll actually do that. I'll put the Goodreads links to them in the bottom bar. So here we go. I have them on my computer here, so I'm gonna move this over. Alright, so the first question is a book that you're an evangelist for. And I actually had a really hard time with that because there are books that I liked this year that that I gave a five out of five, but I just didn't like love them. Um, I think the one series that I am a complete evangelist for is the Gemma Doyle trilogy. That is in the Hummer, Hummer Hunger Games. So those those two are like my big and Harry Potter, but that's a given. But those are my three like evangelists, totally in love with series. But um, the book that I picked was Birthmarked by Kara M. O'Brien. That book is incredible. I loved it so much. It's about a girl named Gaia, and she is a midwife in a dystopian, no, is it dystopian or dystopic? I think it's dystopian. Ooh. Um, a dystopian society where they have to um, serve the enclave and give babies to them to be raised into, like, normal individuals because, it, because inside the wall and outside the wall are very different society um, like money and so um, it's really really good and I highly highly recommend that you guys read it there is a sequel coming out but I'm not sure when so definitely get that if you have a chance number two is most surprisingly good book and for that I picked Nevermore by Kelly Cray and that is because um, I knew that it would be good, but I didn't think it would be as good as it was. It was kind of intimidating. It's like 500 and something pages, so it's kind of a big, big girl. So, um, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure how it would go and if it would be slow or, my dogs are playing on the bed, so it's moving the, um, thingy, but I wasn't sure how good it would, it was going to be, and I loved it. So I definitely recommend that you guys read that one as well. I love Varen. He was an amazing character. And Isabel was great too. All of them. And the ending was just spectacular. So the sequel to that is coming out soon, I believe. Um, maybe next year? I don't know. Um, I should have done my homework, but couldn't. Um, the biggest disappointment so far has definitely been Cries Cross by Lisa McMahon. I just don't like her writing, and I thought that it would be better because it wasn't written in verse like the Wake series was, well, the Wake, Wake trilogy, and so I was really hopeful for that, and it just didn't live up to my expectations, unfortunately. I thought the idea was an awesome idea, but it just wasn't executed very well, in my opinion. Um, number four is the funniest book of 2011 so far, and I actually had a hard time picking, and so... Um, I decided to give it to The Extraordinary Secrets of April, May, and June by Robin Benway. And simply because the banter between um, the three sisters is really funny and it's completely real. Like, I could imagine myself saying that to any of my sisters. So that's why um, I picked that and it really had me laughing out loud. So loved it. Um, the next one is Favorite Cover, published in January to June of 2011. So for that, seeing as it's September, I kind of thought that it would be like pushed into September. And so I picked Beauty Queens by Libra Bray.
because the cover is really funny. I think I actually have it. Oh, I can't reach it. But um, it's really cute. It's this girl in a bikini, and she has, like, the bullet across her chest, like, like sash, and has lipsticks. And I just think that's so cute and so creative. And it really fits the um, book, like, the plot of the book. Um, number six, my favorite character. And I picked Anna from Anna and the French Kiss. because she's very relatable, she's very real. I could picture myself doing the things that she does. She's very socially awkward sometimes, but she truly cares about people and she truly wants to be people's friends and she's just a normal girl. And so I just really appreciated that about her character. She wasn't a Mary Sue, but she wasn't like completely a, a wreck. So it was it was nice to see the normal character and number seven, a new to you series, and I chose Abandoned by Meg Cabot. Because I had never, I knew that it was a book, obviously, but I didn't know that it was uh, not going to be a standalone. So I'm um, super excited for Underworld coming out, so I'm definitely going to check that out. Um, number eight is Most Beautifully Written, and I chose Re Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. because it took her 10 years to write it and I oh, it's just seamless that's the best word I can choose for it because you just feel like you're there and going back between um, Alexandrine and Andy are just completely seamless you sometimes forget which is which besides the um, font so just great 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 writing beautiful beautiful and A Northern Light is actually a really great book, too. And if you're not in the U.S., it's also called The Gathering Light. So I really recommend that you guys read those because, oh, the writing is gorgeous. Um, the most thought-provoking or book that grew on me. And I chose Annex by Sharon Dogar. It's about um, Peter Van Pelt in the... Anne Frank book diary and it's his version and it just totally blew me away and it really was thought-provoking thought because I just went back to the segregation, the um, how they treated people of a different um, religion or skin color or anything and it's just terrible that people are still segregated like that and it just really made me think about humanity and just how I want to be as a person and it was just a really great book and at the end I cry because you know what happens because it's in history so um, you can already you already have that hindsight for for that character so I really felt even deeper for that for the characters because I knew it was going to happen to them and it was just a really really great book and I really recommend that you guys read it like I've said a million times but really that book is is an all-star um, book I wish to see made into a movie and for that one I chose Miss Peregrine School for, for, for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs And simply because I think that would be an amazing movie with all the special effects that we can do nowadays, I think it would be really cool, especially the um, when the bombs are going off. I think that would be an awesome, awesome scene. So I would really love to see that be put somehow into a movie. Um, okay, and the last question is my wish list for the second half of 2011. And I very, I don't know, Gracie, stop. I... Uh, Chose the ones that I was for sure knowing that came out or have already come out in 2011. There are some that I'm still a little iffy on, like the um, the uh, sequel to Birthmarked. Not sure if that's coming out this year or not. Um, I think that's the only other one I was wondering about. But um, so my wish list is Sweetly by Jackson Pierce, obviously. Uh, Chain Reaction by Simone Elkles, obviously. Wolf Spain by Andrea Kramer, which is the sequel to Nightshade. And then I also would like the um, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and that's a companion novel to Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. 
And lastly is The Iron Knight by Julie Cogwell because Hello, Ash is amazing. So I'm super, super stoked about that. But that is my tag. What was I going to do? I can't remember. I was going to show you something, but I, now I can't remember. It, it obviously wasn't that important. Oh, yes. Some of you lovely people have been telling me that all Bright Young Things or Bright Young Things is um, free on the Kindle. So I just downloaded it so I can return it to the library because obviously I don't need a copy. And plus this is a big book, so it's probably easier to read it on the Kindle anyways. So I got that. So, yeah, I have tons and tons and tons of books to return to the library. Um, also, uh, Numbers by Rochelle Ward. I didn't know that I haven't read that yet. So I got the sequel and I didn't read the first one, so I'm going to return it and I haven't read it yet. So I'm going to try to get the first one and then I can read the second one. So, yeah, that is my tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some good ideas for reads. And I'm going to be doing the bookish tag, I think, later. So, um, yeah, stoked about that. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and happy reading, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!